Today, we are going to finish our standing punching bag project. Don't worry, this video won't take long. Don't throw away your used insulation foam, we can still use that and transform it into a punching bag. We will use it as a mold for the thickness of the bag. You can also use rice sacks or flour sacks if you do not have insulation foam. Packaging tape is key. Connect it by using the color brown packaging tape. Tape it. Tape. Tape tape. Tape tape tape. Now let us fill it with wood shavings. I recommend you wear face mask and goggles for protection. Remember to seal the bottom. Wow! Use any tool to compact press the wood fillings. Punch punch punch, punch pa punch punch. I put one inch measure of sand on top then cover it with wood shavings and foam. After that I sealed it with taped, 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 taped. And around and around and around we go. On this project you will consume three brown packaging tape. We are going to make a head using insulation foam, you can punch it too. If you must, use duct tape instead. Do you know that boxing can help improve your heart health, body composition and strength, as well as to lower your blood pressure and aid weight loss? Most of all, boxing is a fun way to get some exercise and release stress in a safe and healthy way. Do you know that the first heavy bag patent was registered to Simon Kehoe in 1872? After that, many versions of punching bags are creatively designed, made and used. Just like the real thing. Ha 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 ha! Seal the bottom. There you have it! Hooray! For the finishing touches, patch it all up with tape. Hard word really does pay. Yeah. It looks like a wooden dummy. It is time to put it to test. Let us try it out. Oh, look at that sexy body. Amazing! Come on! Let's try it out. Thank you for watching.